Okay guys, we're gonna start off the recipe by preparing the sugar and the eggs. I have the bowl of the stand mixer. This pot has water in it and I just have it on low heat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dissolve the sugar and the mix the eggs. It's hot so you gotta be careful. And we're gonna mix this until the sugar is completely dissolved. So use your balloon whisk for this. It works out better for you. And just keep mixing it just until the sugar is completely dissolved. And you can see it on the side of the bowl when it's completely dissolved. And the reason we did it in the stand mixer bowl is because we're going to go directly from here to beat this for four minutes. Okay, I don't see any more sugar sticking to the side of the bowl. So this is ready. I turned off the heat. All right, we're gonna just take this out. Okay, I have the eggs on the stand mixer. We're gonna turn it on high and let it beat for four minutes. Okay, now this thing has pretty much tripled in volume and that's what we wanna see. We're gonna prepare the flour and the rest of the ingredients we're gonna add to this mixture. Okay, we're just going to get this ready. We have our flour, our baking powder, our salt, and the cocoa powder. I like to use the Ghirardelli cocoa powder. It is so delicious. So we're just going to give this a mix until it's nice and incorporated. We're going to alternate this with our milk mixture, the milk with vanilla mixture. Okay, this is nice and airy here. And now we're gonna take our milk and just pour our vanilla in there. And those are our liquid. Okay guys, the whites are beaten. Just like that, you see how much volume that is? So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna uh, sift in the flour a little bit at a time, alternating it with a little bit of milk, okay? You don't, you wanna try to lose the least amount of volume possible. So we're just going to fold. So go around, down the middle. Around, down the middle. Just like that. It will deflate some, of course. Okay, we're going to pour in some milk. Okay, more flour. And a little bit more milk. Just be gentle with it. And you just want to mix it to where it's smooth and make sure there's nothing, no flour at the bottom. Just like that. Okay, I've already stuck the spatula down there. There's nothing down there. No lumps of flour. You are going to butter and flour a 9 by 13 casserole dish. Now we're just going to pour our mixture. And again, the oven is preheating to 350. Okay, just level it off. Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. We are gonna get the soak ready for the cake, which is gonna include some uh, sweetened condensed milk, some evaporated milk, and some chocolate. What we are going to do is we are going to melt this chocolate bar and this is a, a Nestle's baking bar, okay? You can use whatever chocolate you want. I'm just going to break it up and I'm going to melt it in the microwave in 20 second uh, intervals and we're going to stir it and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. I melted the chocolate as you can see there. I am going to add the condensed milk the evaporated milk okay and we're gonna take a whisk and we're gonna combine all this together just go slow so you don't splash yourself okay and it looks just like that I hope you can see that okay guys we are back with our cake it is now completely cool I do have the soap milk that we're gonna add in there but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke the cake with a fork or a skewer whatever you have poke some holes into it so that it can absorb the liquid 
Okay, now I'm going to take my liquid. I did give it a little mix. Look at that. Mm -mm. Can't wait. Uh, we're going to soak this. We're going to put this back in the refrigerator so that we can prepare the whipped cream topping that we're going to add to it. And this way it stays nice and cold. It'll absorb the liquid. We're going to put half of it right now. Let it absorb and then we'll come back and put some more. So now it looks like that. I'm going to pop this back in the fridge. Keep it cold so we can prepare the topping for this cake. I can't wait to try that. All right guys, the next step on the stand mixer, we are going to add some heavy cream. We are gonna mix this on medium to high speed as we're gonna add some confectioner sugar and some vanilla and a little pinch of salt. We're going to add the powdered sugar, the vanilla, and just a little pinch of salt. And we're going to beat this until we have some soft peaks. Okay, we are done. And this is what we have. I'm going to pop you all back over to the counter so we can top the cake. All right, guys. Uh, now, I've already put the rest of the chocolate on it. We are now going to top it with the whipped topping. I'm just going to go around and dab it, and then we'll spread it out. And then I'm just going to take my offset spatula here and just spread it around. doesn't have to be perfect. Hey, yummy. Now if that wasn't enough, we're gonna top this with some mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. Okay, and there we go. This is our chocolate tres leches cake. Look at that. Can you see the bottom there? Now, the ideal thing for this is to leave it overnight in the refrigerator for it to set and let all that milk get into that bread. But we are gonna cut this now though. All right, it's time to cut into this cake. And all I do is just go around the side a little bit. It's always really difficult to get the first slice. Looky there, guys. I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. I can't wait to try this. Let me show you the rest of it. All righty, let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very, very creamy. It's not like some cakes that I've had in the past that they're so soaked in milk you can't even taste the cake. This you can actually taste the chocolate. Very good, real nice and creamy. Uh, you know, you still have texture in the cake. The whipped cream is delicious, not over sweet. And it's chocolate. It's delicious. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. This cake is delicious, guys. I hope y'all give this a try. I will have the recipe listed down in the description box. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. That really helps me out here on the channel. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, and they will notify you every time I upload a video. Okay, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Mmm. Mm-mm.